Here is your latest end time news from tradcatnight.blogspot.com. My good friends get to Tradcat Night on a daily basis. Book Marcus, check in every day. 15 plus articles, blogs going out to you on a daily basis, keeping you up to date on all the latest end time news and church apostasy news as we head closer to the fruition of the third secret of Fatima, which entails the formalized Luciferian New Age religion in Rome. And also, Planet X is incoming, therefore, the great chastisements to come. Now, for this particular segment, my friends, I've been warning uh, about this now for a few weeks. Be on the lookout for articles popping up as it relates to ISIS and a potential false flag during Thanksgiving. Uh, this is being purported on uh, ISIS websites, saying that it would be you know, a good target these particular get-togethers, obviously there's a lot of people crammed into one area which could cause a lot of pandemonium. It's basically a death trap. Eventually, once one of these false flags goes live, and, and none of us know which one will. But of course, there's a lot of things going on here. Before I actually get to the article, we have to understand that the whole war on terror farce thing created by our government, uh, created by uh, CIA, Mossad, which is what ISIS is, Israeli Secret Intelligence Service. Uh, so the Zionists are behind it as well, who fully run this country. They run Trump. Trump is a Zionist puppet. And we know, have to understand that when there are these threats that are being put out in mainstream media, what is the typical uh, reaction? So problem, reaction, solution, problem, terror, reaction, got to get the people to freak out. And so they will want more police on the streets, and that's exactly what they do. Put more police, more boots on the ground, if you will, and it's becoming normalized now. I mean, we are slowly being boiled like frogs in more and more areas areas in our country and in Europe have more boots on the ground, simply to normalize things. And this trend will continue now as it relates to this particular article we have coming from ABC News, so mainstream media. Homeland Security warns of holiday threat. U.S. officials issued a somber warning today that the coming holiday season could mean opportunities for violent extremists to strike, especially as terrorist groups are squeezed abroad. Though we know of no intelligence that is both specific and credible at this time of a plot by terrorist organizations to attack the homeland, the reality is terrorist-inspired individuals have conducted or attempted to conduct attacks in the United States. Reads a bulletin posted online today by the Department of Homeland Security. The warning said terrorists could attempt to target public events in places where people congregate. The bulletin came days after an ISIS magazine called on the terrorist group's followers to use vehicles to attack popular outdoor attractions like a New York parade. Again, folks, got to, you know, be on the alert. Obviously, they want us to, you know, to fall into the trap of, of fear mongering and paranoia. But I mean, th these events, these events are going to go live. I mean, even 9-11, which was a false flag, it, it truly was the Zionist behind that uh, operation, wasn't at all Islamist or Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden was simply a, a CIA agent working for our country. Uh, but nevertheless, we have to understand that, you know, Guccifer, the international hacker that got four years for exposing Clinton and a lot of what the CIA was uh, saying from the inside, you know, it's it's on record that they're planning several attacks, 9-11 style attacks. Two cities were mentioned, Chicago and one city in uh, Pennsylvania, probably going to be chemical or nuclear. So it's going to be worse than 9-11. And I've sp spoken with other quote-unquote insiders, and they say basically the plan is to have numerous 9-11 type of events, but in a rather short period of time, maybe over the course of a month or so, to get people really amped up uh, and to ultimately throw us into World War III, by the way, too. Amp up that hatred towards uh, Islam to ultimately drag us into a full-scale war. So these people are brilliant, the New World Order uh, freaks. So we got to continue to pray again. As I mentioned, Trump's not saving his country. We got to do as the Blessed Virgin Mary asked, wear the scapular, pray the rosary. That's it. We can only mitigate what's about to happen in this country. This country's about to fall apart and fall apart quickly. 2017 is going to be a doozy, folks. Make sure you're subscribed to Trad Cat Night right now for all the latest news, information, 
uh, special guest radio shows coming to you Monday through Friday. Along the right-hand side of Tradcat Night, you're going to find a plethora of information, resources, links for you to use. Make sure you participate in the new poll question. It relates to World War III. Need your feedback. There's also a blog archive one-third of the way down the page. Make sure you get your head in that. People have been asking recently concerning advertising on Tradcat Night. Yes, I still do do that. Uh, it's $25 a month, which is very competitive. A Another traditional Catholic website, well, it's not traditional Catholic, just a, a Nova Sordo website, Spirit Daily, which has uh, a, a less ranking than us. It's it's not as visible. They don't have as much traffic. Charges over $200 a month, and they don't even post a picture. I will give a picture and a backlink. It'll be about one-third of the way down the page, and I only ask for $25 donation via PayPal. You can send me an email at apostleofmary at hotmail.com. Again, if you have a website, an event, business, uh, etc., etc., and you would like to do that, please send me an email. If you have news tips, articles, videos, blogs of your own, let me see what you're seeing on your end. Uh, I'm always weeding through my email quite often through the day, trying to see what you're seeing. Can't respond to everyone. Sometimes I'll tweet information. Sometimes if it's really good information, I'll put it into uh, a main blog for the next day. But send those as well to Apostle of Mary at Hotmail.com. The radio shows are, you know, they're picked up by different alternative news networks, but many of you might not be aware. It was just picked up by another large website, Veterans Today, a top 20,000 website. So my articles are appearing there and also the radio shows. So we've been blessed in that fashion. As it relates to this information war, folks, you know, I need ongoing help on a daily basis as it relates to donations. Please click that PayPal button. Even if it's $10 a month, that works out to be less than a half a cup of coffee on a month uh, on a monthly basis. So if you see what we're doing, you understand that we're trying to maintain tradition. You try to see how we're trying to bring all the pieces of the puzzle together, not just from the theological standpoint, but from the whole perspective of this new world order. Uh, please do get behind us. There's not a whole lot of places, as you know, that see Vatican II for what it is. So get behind us with a donation if you can't find uh, places to contribute to. Uh, if you want to do cash, check, or money order, uh, money orders, those inquiries can be sent to Apostle of Mary at Hotmail.com. Lastly, folks, let us keep, as eagles, keep our wings spread in faith and hope the great storm is approaching. And we are going to need to face the storm and not flee. So don't give in to despair, worry, doubt. Uh, Jesus wants us all to become saints. And so we're not going to become saints without our crosses. So we need these trials and tribulations and so let us see things from his perspective with the eyes of an eagle, the eyes of charity, and not our own carnal eyes. And until next time, stay safe and God bless.